our good pals, our buddies at Yeti. You remember last week we talked about the Ralph's handbag for $1,000? This is close. Yeti is known for making those coolers that keep things cold for 20 hours and all that kind of stuff. Uh, tumblers, they keep ice for whatever days. There's no reason to, but they have it, so that's fine. And they're crazy money. Well, now look at this. They've come up with a $400 cast iron skillet. Really? 400 bucks. So Yeti skillet is $400. Four zero zero. And it's just a hunk of iron. It's pre-seasoned. Yeah, that's great. It comes with, uh, what does it come with? It comes with a, a metal ring tag, a scraper card, and a storage bag. You know, really? I mean, the storage bag is printed. It's branded. That's great. A little scraper card to scrape the greasing bacon bits off of it and stuff like that. But comes in this clever brown box. I don't know. Come on, man. Get out, Get over yourself, Yeti. Only Yeti can get away with selling a $400 cast iron pan. I agree with that. But it's actually made by a group called Butter Pat. And Butter Pat... Their version of the same skillet. How much is it? It's three forty-five. So you're paying fifty bucks for the Yeti name. You know, I've got a Lodge pan at home. It works great. Thirty bucks. No reason to have this. No reason at all. I mean, who are you going to flex to? Your Yeti pan. What are you going to do? I, I just don't understand. You're going to wear it around your neck. I don't know. I don't get people. I don't get people that spend money on this stuff because. Obviously, somebody is spending money on it, or they wouldn't be making it. And again, if it kept ice for eight hours, that's one thing. That's different than a regular Colma cooler. But this is just a dumb old cast iron pan. I mean, it's not any better than a twenty dollar one. Some people just have a lot of nerve, man. A lot of nerve. Here's the takeaway: my buddy Ta Chad Deepity, our copywriter, Chad Deepity. It's a testament to the magic of well-made branded merch in attracting customers and building an enduring loyal base. If you found a customer that would give you 400 bucks for a 12-inch skillet, you didn't find a customer. You found a sucker. 